welcome to our spring exhibit, The Poetry Around Us, Women Painting the Outdoors, featuring the works of art from 14 different female artists coming from 10 states. Today, we're gonna to give you a little glimpse of someone from the East Coast, an artist from the West Coast, and one from right here in Tennessee. So let's begin with artist Terry Malo. Terry Malo is one of our East Coast artists. Uh, Terry lives in Massachusetts. Uh, Terry's work focuses on elemental themes from nature. She's been very active in bringing attention to national parks and historic landmarks on the East Coast. You can see how her experiences with printmaking and watercolor have influenced her newer oil pieces. Um, what I love about it is you can still see her pencil sketch marks that come through. That's something that usually artists cover up when they're paint, but she really emphasizes it and brings them back out to the to the focus in the in the front of the works. She tends to allow the medium to dictate how the work develops, and I think you can see the spontaneity in these pieces that we've got here. Terry has said of her work, I love to master the accidents that are possible when techniques collide. Terry's work is in many collections throughout the country, including the Philadelphia Museum of Art, the Newport Art Museum, uh, Marriott Hotels, and many more. We're gonna take a look now at a great painting from California artist, Kathy Carey. Kathy's paintings are just joyous. Um, there's a very rhythmic flow to the compositions that she creates, and her use of a very strong color palette, I think, makes her work easily recognizable. While she begins her paintings on plein air, outside, they are often finished in the studio. She uses her, mo uh, her memories and emotions from her outdoor experiences to take the sketch and morph it into these wondrous scenes on canvas. Kathy lives on a canyon that is also a nature preserve, and I think the love of her surroundings comes through in her paintings. Let's take a look at this fantastic painting by Tennessee artist Sharon Rushaver. Uh, the two works in the exhibit by Sharon are both of Tennessee, but created in two very different techniques. Sharon has said that when painting in the springtime, she tends to use a palette light knife more. And um, I think that does help to create the little rush and the spontaneity within the piece that we have here. When she's not painting in her home area of Middle Tennessee, uh, Sharon tends to teach workshops all over the world. It's the great experiences where the artists go and travel and live together. And she and her husband actually work almost like travel agents while they're there. So everything is taken care of. Some of her corporate commissions include 30 plus paintings for the Alabama Sports Hall of Fame, a painting at the White House in 1999, and a 100 foot mural for the National Post Office, which is now known as the First Art Museum. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you'll get a chance to come down and see this great exhibit in person, uh, which will be on display through the end of May. A special thanks goes out to all our artists from all across the country. It's a great treat to share so much talent with our community here at the Customs House Museum.